Hello everyone, good morning. Hold on, I didn't eat yet. That's why I need to eat. I feel so hungry. Hello everyone, ah, I hope my moderator is here because I know that uh, the portrait format live stream is not very, very Filipino love to eat. This is my breakfast, this is my first meal, I didn't eat yet. Uh, hello everyone, Why the, there's a lot of comments already. Good morning from the Philippines, time check, it's 10.29, I said I'm going to go live at 10.30. Oh, it's so nice. This is my first live stream on my main channel in vertical format. And it's easier. It's actually easier to read comments. Hey. Yeah, happy Easter, although I don't really celebrate Easter. How did you guys... Uh, celebrate your Easter in your country. Is it the like the egg hunting? Do you have that egg hunting? Hello. I am cooking right now. I didn't eat yet, and I'm feel I feel so hungry. I even postponed my live already. I said I'm gonna go live at nine, but because I'm like no, I need to eat. But still was not able to cook before going live. Hello everyone, so, wait, huh? Bear with me guys, I I'm just gonna finish the cooking. Okay, I know, um, so this is my first live stream since I moved. Hello Mango, look at that, do you see it? That one eyed dog black dog called mango that is always stealing my sleepers every time i wake up and go out in the morning all my sleepers are gone that's why that that yellow slipper doesn't have a pair <laughs> but she's so cute so i know uh this is the first live stream since since i moved to sikihor in my main channel and we have a lot of uh catching up and by the way guys look at my how do I turn the, the camera? Okay, look at my garden. That is my garden, vegetable garden. Hey, Rory Bellamy, thank you so much for $1.49. Super chat, merci, maraming salamat. Okay, look at my, that is squash and okra. And I still need to water them. I didn't water them yet. Okay, what's for breakfast? I'm cooking a potato omelette. So, Oh, it's so hot, guys. It's so hot in the province. <sighs> I'm like dying every day, sweating every day. Okay, bear with me. Hi, the internet. I'm using Wi-Fi now. They have Wi-Fi. So look at what they did. Look at what the chickens did. They destroyed my plant. But it's, it's so nice and healthy. Look at all the tops. I didn't... I don't know if I need to prune this. This is squash. This is also squash, another squash. And then uh, this is okra. I think it has flower. And those ants, really. I always spray them with... Ouch! Ow, 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 ow. I always spray it with like in, um, vinegar with dishwashing soap, but these, they're still here. And then okra and then another okra. I think it has flower but i need to prune it yeah ouch, ouch oh my gosh look at that oh my gosh oh 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 ouch ouch yeah that is province life okay that's another squash another squash and another squash this is sunflower i have more seedlings uh more seedlings 
These are, this is corn. I'm not sure how am I gonna do with corn, to be honest. I need to do some research. Um, pepper, pepper. These are all tomatoes, pepper, pepper. Squash as vine with leaves, yeah. Okay, and then this, I am so, I'm super excited with this. Look at this, guys. I am supposed to remove this in the stream today because this is the last day. I was covering it for two weeks. So today, it should be yesterday, but I said I'm gonna remove it today. Look how healthy my bamboos are. Look at that. Look at that. Guys, these are giant bamboos. I bought them. It's like 35 pesos per piece. I bought 20. Oh, sorry. I bought 20 pieces. Oops. Other seedlings, marigold and the spinach and basil. Because I, I heard it's good companion for tomatoes. These are giant, um, giant bamboos. So they are very well alive now. I can remove this now. And then, okay, so the first, the first thing that I bought when I, when I moved here, maybe after three weeks, I started buying plants, you know, and cuttings, seedlings, and I really liked um, avocado. I couldn't find avocado in the whole island because it's not yet seasoned. So I said, oh, it can't be, I, I want avocado. It's hard to find some some vegetables and and um fruits in the island so but you know luckily the island is small it's easy to like go around and find things but anyway i bought like 15 no i bought nine pieces of cuttings or grafted they said grafted avocado and i planted them and I, like after one week they're all dead like all dried all um black already and brown all dried and then i saw them yesterday they're actually sprouting i'm so excited i'm gonna show you good thing i didn't give up on them i keep on look at my avocados guys so it's it's it has a very healthy sprout i didn't i only saw it yesterday and then this one look at that they're all like dried this i just cut them it's like big like this and then it's all dried and black and brown so i cut it yesterday but because i saw these sprouts hey matthew parker thank you so much for the super chat good morning breakfast looks good here is a 20 for that land you want best oh thank you so much you're so sweet matthew merci maraming salamat thank you so much okay and then this it has also some sprouts here it this one also it's like this huh it's super black and brown and already dried so this one as well it's good that i didn't give up on them i keep on uh, watering them so i just bought some um avocado fruits instead and i planted the seeds i, I finally i was able to find avocado like two weeks ago and then i saw them i saw this sprouts yesterday <laughs> i am so excited okay hello so um you should try the earth for your ant problem is that a natural remedy because i don't want to put any chemical oh my gosh ah! it became <laughs> i said i'm going to put <laughs> i said i'm going to put I said I'm going to put egg. Okay. Look at what happened to my... It burned a little. It's like chips now. Okay, guys. So I'm in Sikihor right now. You already know that, right? Oh, look, at, look how I'm sweating now already. I just took a shower, huh? I just went outside. I'm already sweating. Look at that. It's so hot, guys. Look at that sweat. It's so hot in the Philippines, really. Okay, um, you have a good neighbors. Uh, I have a good neighbors. The thing is, 
I don't really have neighbors. I mean, it's like the houses here are so far from each other. It's not like other communities in the Philippines. Because, you know, Sikihor is still considered as rural area. It's still very rural here. Even though you say that, you know, there's already nice roads. The roads are really nice here. And not everything you need is here, so it's still very rural. But it's not like in other places in the Philippines where the houses are super close to each other. Here, it's not like that. And if you have a, a landlady or your landlord, then that's your neighbor. Um, it's nice to see much green. I'm in central Canada and we still have a bit of snow on the ground. Ah, yeah. It's so cold there. It's, here it's so hot. I just flew back home to Chicago from Manila today and I already missed it. Spent two weeks there. <laughs> Guys, if you come to the Philippines, you should go to the nice places also. So you will really see the beauty of the Philippines. If you just stay in Manila and in the big cities or just in Cebu, you know, you'll feel like oh, it's dirty, it's traffic, it's stressful. But if you, if you go to like, maybe you can try Boracay, Palawan, you know, those nice places, you will appreciate Philippines. Hey, Pedro Randa Jr., thank you for the, uh, for the su subscription to my uh, mem uh, membership. Uh, what? Oh, Baguio. I don't like Baguio also anymore. It's super congested there. Oh my gosh, look at that sweat. How is the the life in the neighborhood? It's it's good here. It's very it's very peaceful. You know, I don't hear any traffic noise. I don't hear any uh, crowd noise. All you, all I hear here is um, the noise of the birds, the chicken. I know some of you don't like the chicken. Um, dogs as well. The dogs can be annoying, especially when you're um, sleeping at night. Oops. Do you have video okay every week in there? There are some video kiss, but they, I mean here in my place, I hear some video kiss sometimes, but they're coming from far places and it, and it sounds like the wind is carrying the sound, you know? The, the noise is traveling with the wind because it's like it's just echoing and then it disappears and then you will hear it again and then it d disappears again so it's it's not it's not like karaoke every day or like every weekend no um karaoke is discos when there is like events celebrations big birthday parties um or like fiesta i think fiesta is the most um event that i've seen here so far not even birthday parties yeah it's fiesta that sounds a lot easier to handle than yes and most of the the noise that i hear here not actually noise is nature this the wind it's always breezy like this even if it's hot Oh, thanks to God, it's breezy. <laughs> I mean, because it's super hot, especially when it's like this super hot outside that the sun is like very strong. So it's good that there is breeze. Just imagine, guys, it's like my in province in, in, in Tarlac. When it's hot like this, 
there is no wind at all oh my gosh it's like you don't know what to do anymore even if you don't move you just lay down in the at the back under the shade you st you're still sweating at least here no and also it's so nice that i hear a lot of birds different kinds of birds and the beautiful birds actually a lot of stray dogs here yeah a lot of stray dogs Do you have many brown outs there? Hmm. It's actually the same, you know. When I'm in my province in Tarlac, it's the same. It's the same amount of brown outs. There are some random brown outs here. I think it's because they are developing the, the, the island. They have a lot of road rehabilitations, road constructions, road widening. Yeah, they have a lot of that. And I think that's the reason why there are some... Uh, brown outs but it doesn't the the brown outs are not from morning to evening it's not 24 hours usually the longest it's like five hours in the morning and they usually announce it so that you can prepare they they patrol and then they announce that there will be power outage so if you did not hear that yeah you will you can't be prepared for it I definitely did not like Baguio because it's very congested. <clears throat> Sticky hole from Bohol. I love Sikor. I'm planning to go next week and to look for rooms for rent. I think Bohol has more cheap, has cheaper options because the yeah have uh, Bohol has more cheaper options. You know why? Because Bohol is bigger than Sikor, and Sikor is a small island, and the whole island is basically a tourist. Uh, tourist spot tourist destination so like everywhere you go that's why i saw a lot of comments on my on my house tour video they said ah oh, you're getting ripped off what seven thousand monthly that's actually expensive i think i know better because i know how the 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 price ranges in in philippines and uh, like i said sikihor is the whole island is um tourist destination like everywhere you go in the islands, tourist destination. So the rents, the 7,000, actually that's the cheapest that I saw. That's the cheapest that I saw. I've seen some 5,000 pesos. I've seen 2,000 pesos monthly. That's actually very cheap. <laughs> but it looks like a pig pen. Who wants to live in a pig, pig pen? I mean, not even Filipinos want to, to live in a place like that you will not live in a place like that so don't say that the 7k is actually expensive it's not for a destiny i mean for a um tourist destination you're literally in a in a place where you know all these beautiful um sceneries all these beautiful beaches um beautiful waterfalls is just around the corner and the good thing about sikihor is there are still because it's still very underdeveloped there are so many um sceneries or places nice places here that are free yeah are free you can even discover some places yourself you don't see them on google maps you just go there and then you see oh it seems like there's a nice beach there okay i'm gonna check and then you say oh wow it's beautiful and there's no one not like in, you know, in the most famous, uh, you know, like Boracay or Palawan. It's very congested, very touristy. Even here, it's very touristy here. But there are so many spots here, places here that is not very known. So it, there's no internet as well. The internet is so bad here. Um, yeah, it's not even in Google Maps, like I said. So it's very different but i have to admit that um the longer i stay here actually the the more i i notice also that it's not really cheap anymore you know it's underdeveloped but it's not really cheap anymore you know what's making it expensive to to live here you know what's making the prices go higher here the tourists and the foreigners <laughs> did someone asked me in my live stream one time uh, on Twitch, they said, what is the most annoying thing that you, 
uh, what is the most annoying thing for you about foreigners in the Philippines? And then my answer is, I don't have anything against foreigner, ha, huh? coming to the Philippines. I mean, you're very welcome to come to the Philippines. But this, I'm going to tell you the most annoying thing that I, I, I find um, in foreigners coming to the Philippines is that, <laughs> but I think this is all over the world, all over, even in other countries like Thailand or Vietnam. The thing that, that uh, foreigners make the place expensive <laughs> so you know what i mean it affects the filipinos that is true but you know that's reality it's like that everywhere there's nothing we can do about it but it's really like that hey uh enjoy cold drink or beauty thank you so much Dwayne. thank you 20 canadian dollars thank you so much for the super chat merci buko i really appreciate it my girl is currently on your island joining oh really it's super hot here, really. You don't know, guys. I am wearing a, like this, like a bohemian, very loose elephant pants. And while I'm standing here, I can feel all the sweat dripping down <laughs> from my here, my legs. I can feel all of it. Uh... I didn't know that you hated that about us. It's not I hate it. That is annoying fact. It's a thing that is a fact. It's not like, uh, you know, it's not like if you don't, it's not like uh, there's something we can do about it. There's really nothing we can do about it. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the, the nationality. The thing is foreigners in general, not only like people from the West, people from here, from there. I mean, from, from Europe, from Canada, even Asians, as long as they're foreigner, you know, everything. But it's like that, even in Thailand. It's even worse in Thailand, I think. They have a law that foreigners have different uh, different price. You have higher price. I mean, he, here in the Philippines, we don't have a law about uh, the farang price, but people do it, okay? People do it. People still do it. That's why, you know, the agent that I spoke with about the property, about the lot, I asked them, um, what if the, the buyer is a foreigner? Do you give them different price? Do you make the prices higher? And then they say, ah, no, ma'am, we, we don't do that. We, we have, like, we see people equally and we give them price equally. It's not like because they're foreigners, so we will give them higher price. And then I said, I, in my mind, I don't really believe it. To be honest, I don't really believe it in. Because I know that if you're a foreigner buying property in the Philippines, for example, you're married to Filipina and you're buying property, or the Filipina uh, is the one transacting, but they know that the Filipina has a foreigner husband, they will still, they will not go down to, the, they will not negotiate that much to a very low price. I know that. So even if they say that, oh, no, mom, we, we are equal, blah, blah, blah. Give me a break. That is not true. That's not true. And um, also, nowadays, I see a lot of ads, advertisement of, you know, agencies, brokers, licensed brokers, licensed um, real estate agents um, selling lands, like even off-grid farmlands in provinces. Oh, my gosh. I feel like... To who are they trying to sell? Who is their market? I mean, why? I feel like they're overpricing properties in the Philippines. And that is even in the countryside. Like, I mean, what is happening? Like, I see a lot of advertisements like that. I mean, if you want to buy property in the Philippines, you it's better if you talk directly to owners. <laughs> not, and not the... Not the, um, what do you call this? Not agents. I don't know. I feel like they're overpricing. Will be my retirement home in Dumaguete. My girl already has property. That's good. It's, it's better if it's like that. People work very hard there. And if they try to make a few extra peso, who cares you would do? No, I mean extra, like double. Like 
to be honest when i see those um those advertisement the property is not even the right i mean the the price that they put is not even the value the the value should be lower it's like it's three million and they make it uh the value is three million and they make it 15 million like something like that but it's 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 far from that example huh the one that i'm seeing is 32 million 40 million 3,000 square meters. I saw a lot of 3,000 square meters and it's like $10,000. But what they're selling is like $80,000. <laughs> so no, don't tell me that they're just making it put an extra. They're not making an extra. They're, it's ripoff. Hello, Jeff Martin. Thank you. Have you found any land that interests you? Yes. The problem is... It's very cheap, this one. But you know why it's very cheap? Because it's off-grid. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't even have a road right of way. It, it doesn't even, it's in the middle of private properties also, but not very private because they are not trying to barricade their properties. Um, it's off-grid because it doesn't have a, like access to the to the road so that can be a problem really and the the distance from the main road to the property is really very far so if it's off grid and the distance from the the main road and the property is very far then it will be expensive to develop it because first of all it's cheap because it's not convenient in the first place convenience is expensive okay but if you buy a property that is sitting along the the highway or the main road, it can the the price can double because convenience is is expensive. It's it's uh, the one that I I like is is cheap and uh, because it's off grid, it's very far from the from the from the main road. But the nice thing is it's overlooking and. Yeah, but it's very far. It's also very far from the main town. Yeah, that is... I don't know. Where is my moderator? Is Ruby Beauty offering Bitcoin? Nope. Those are scams. Don't believe those. You're becoming a wise woman so happy for you good to see thank you steven but you know what i have a lot i've learned a lot in my moving here I, i've learned a lot and i cannot speak for now about these things i'm gonna speak about it in the future live live streams okay but for now i, I cannot yet so um stay tuned <laughs> i've learned a lot of things they have a motorcycle i have a scooter I am renting it. Actually, it's already due two days ago, um, 29 March. I need to give it back, and it's in the other side of the island where I rented it. The thing is, I'm still torn. I don't know what to do. Can you guys help me? Hi, Anthony. Can you guys help me to decide? Because I don't know what to do. To, I mean, I... I'm thinking about buying a motorbike, maybe, you know, it, because it's so expensive to buy a new motorbike. But that's the safer bet, because if I buy secondhand, and I don't know if, if that secondhand is still really in good condition, because, you know, people just just want to wanna sell it, and they don't, they don't care if, if it's really good, if it's something that you will not have problem. So... I'm, I, I'm still thinking really what I need to do. I already extended for two days in the, the motorbike and the owner is not replying to me because I don't know why they're not replying. I said, I'm going to extend. They didn't give me the price for my extension. Like, I'm scared that if I give the motorbike back, I'll be surprised of like how much I need to pay. So I need to decide already if I need to buy secondhand or I need to buy a brand new. I think it's safer to buy brand new really if i am going to give an advice to you if you you know if you come to the philippines and you retire it's better if you buy brand new 
it won't be it won't be expensive for you how much do you want to spend i don't know i i've um oh my gosh it is sweaty i i i did can canvas yesterday in the afternoon like actually that's like the last minute i went there because it's saturday yesterday and it's my rest day but i went around 4 p.m and then and that's closing time 5 p.m i was able to see two shops motorbike shops the the cheapest is 52k but it, that is motorcycle i mean you know the manual the one that they use for motor for motorcycle the one that they put uh like a tuk tuk sidecar that and it's 52 thousand pesos so that's like how much is that guys fifty two thousand pesos um that is like less less than uh, less than one thousand dollars like maybe uh eight hundred eight hundred dollars maybe or nine hundred dollars us dollars i think um what price it will be by a used motor isn't it what matter of what price it will be to buy used motorbike yes because the others they are still selling it in very high price even though it's already been four years it's it's a four years old scooter and then they're trying to sell the end of the price is is still not even half the, the original price when they bought it so it's like i see a lot of that and oh, maybe it's better to buy brand new eight ninety dollars okay nine twenty five okay yeah that's it just get a new click is expensive yeah click is expensive that's why i'm thinking i can i'll just get a, a manual <laughs> the one that they use for sidecar for tuk tuk i can even put sidecar you know for cargo because I don't know. I have a lot of things already. I I bought a lot of things already. Like, oh, by the way, guys, thank you so much for all the gifts that you gave me in my wish list in Throne. I was, oh, it's very convenient. This one, thank you so much. <laughs> this one, this uh, plate dispenser is from the gift. So thank you so much, everyone. What else did I buy? Uh, I bought a lot already. Oh, the tools. I'm gonna show you the tools before i i eat mango mango baby you know they hurt this dog a lot i think because she's so scared of humans she's even very scared of me but she's uh warmed up to me now mango. but i cannot still pet her can't still touch her she's so afraid mango baby Ale. Ale. Oh. I like it when when she try to like bump the the nose to my hand like do like that. like she smells my hand and then lick it and then do like that. Yes. <laughs> Mango baby. But if I try to touch her look. She's avoiding my touch. <laughs> <laughs> she's so cute mango is full of energy today oh my gosh guys speaking of dogs so here in the island i think they are they are po poisoning dogs here because i don't know but i also noticed that in this island there's a lot of stray dogs in the in the road and it actually it's true it can cause um accident and i think there are some cases of accidents already because of stray dogs in the middle of the road but it's true there are so many dogs that stay in the in the road so but i think that is you know it's it's a way for the for the for the riders to slow down hello drew thank you so much for 2.99 super chat merci maraming salamat um so they're poisoning dogs i saw two dead dogs there and you know what one of those dogs is dog of the owner i didn't know that the owner has they have dog so that that dog that died that's why i was not seeing 
that dog lately anymore here the, it's a big white dog that sometimes protects this dog mango to to you know to the other dogs who's trying to mate with her but that dog always come here to to drink because they always leave the pail full of water and then they drink they always come here to drink so one short dog and one and the big dog their dog the owner's dog it's already dead. I saw it yesterday. I was roaming around here, the property, because I was checking things for, for the plants. And then I saw the dogs. It's, the other one is just literally the bones left. And the other one's still fresh, and I recognize it. Oh my gosh. The dog is already dead. They're poisoning the dogs. And that is their, that is their way to, to address the, the stray dogs in the, in the road. It's so bad and I was so concerned. That is why like three days, four days ago, I noticed Mango was like a little bit low energy. Even if I feed her, she's not... She, she even leaves the food and then I don't see her a lot lately around around me. She doesn't stay around me lately. And I was thinking, what what is she doing? And she, she keeps on like changing... Um, sleeping areas now before she only stays here or here so it's like oh maybe the dog is sad because those dogs those dead dogs is their friend there's a lot of dogs here like sometimes you see them here all of them 10 or sometimes to 15 dogs what i want to show you guys <laughs> i'm speaking so much uh also so the tools that i bought um drill that is from the gift so thank you so much guys i also bought a lawn lawn mower and not lawn mower but grass cutter yeah grass cutter and all these tools that i this is what i'm using to oops <laughs> and then the tools like this tools for gardening and uh Oh, sorry. This, I received this yesterday for the seeds. I can store seeds. And then trays. Uh, seedling trays. Seedling trays. Fertilizers. And my compost with cow manure. This is cow manure. I've got some sawdust somewhere. I collected somewhere, like, um, beside the road, a lot of this. Because they're always cutting trees here. So, I'm so sad about the dog. Hey, Mr. JR, you're here. <laughs> Australian in the Philippines must bat. Hello, hello, everyone. The, when dog is hurt, it will never le let you know where it hides and dies. Yeah. We're exactly in the Philippines. This is, I am in Sikihor Island. Sikihor Island. Our stray cats on the island, they poison them as well. The stray cats are more, because you know, stray cats love like hiding. They're not very, they don't like exposing themselves. So no cats, I don't think they poison cats. I think it's more dogs. Hello, Khalif. Uh, what time is it? How's your health lately? Uh, what time? It's 11.07. You improving. Hello, Lanky. A lot of people said that I lost weight, but they tell me that every day. Did you lose weight? Are you thinner today? I've been like this. But maybe I was, I was heavier maybe when I was in Manila. Who's poisoning dogs? Barangay officials. That's their way to address the stray dogs in, in the streets because they cause um, accidents. Hello, Ray Mahana. Hello. Uh, if she did not like you, she would not see you. Mm. 
but she she has warmed up so much to me now compared to the first time you left manila for living the countryside may I ask what kind of job you had in in manila in a corporate as well office job like normal filipino Add a motorbike on the wish list, I too will make a donation. <laughs> Why are you black? Because I'm a Filipino. I have dark skin. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> Seriously. What's the cost of living out, um, over there? Uh, it still depends on your lifestyle. It depends also on your location. If you if you like a, a location, a town that is more developed, so the town that is more developed here is San Juan or Siquijor, um, it's more convenient that, there, of course, because there are more shops, there are more, there is more convenience in more developed area, right? It's always like that. Um, and then it also depends on how how, like how are you pay, what are you, how much you spend on your house. Because like that house, that big house, I, do you see it? No, you don't see it. That big house, uh, so they're also renting that out to an expat. It's 25,000 pesos. Yeah, I think 25,000 pesos monthly. Um, it's a big house. The second floor is nothing but like a, a view deck only. But it has a roof and it's so big and i saw the inside because the owner sent me a video before it's very nice it's very spacious inside and it has aircon it's very big so if you you know this house that i'm renting it's seven thousand pesos it's actually cheap because i'm not far from the beautiful falls i'm not far from this stunning um sceneries and places here in sikihor are there too many expats where you're looking for a girlfriend? Huh? Are there too many expats where you are? Ah, where, where I am. Yes. I mean, there, there are so many tourists here. But most of the tourists are young. Yeah, I mean, foreign tourists. There are so many foreign tourists here, but most of them are young young foreign tourists they they even go with their their girlfriends or they go in group but i also see a lot of expats retirees they live here hey lightfoot thank you so much for the 19.99 super chat merci maraming salama thank you thank you so much you're amazing you are amazing thank you thank you so yeah, there are many um, expats, retirees here. That's why I asked one local here. I said, do you think, you think it's expensive to live in Sikihor? And then she said, oh, it's actually expensive already, especially for us locals, she said, because um, the prices before, like 10 years ago and now, the, the, the difference is very, very big. Like she said, um, and I asked her, what do you think is making the prices here go higher? And then she said, the foreigners. <laughs> the foreigners and the tourism. So I asked also, like, I asked locals here because I'm so curious. Like, when did the, the tourism um, boom, like, grow, started growing? You know, you know when? Even I was surprised to know that. They said it's just um, after the pandemic. It's just after the pandemic. So I was like, what, really? After the pandemic only? That's not long time ago. <laughs> That's not long time ago. Find a feminine woman of your dreams, a gay wife will show up automatically. Do you agree? Find the family and woman of your dreams. 
Oh, speaking of wife. So yesterday I, I went to the, I went to San Juan. San Juan is the most touristy because it's where all these hotels and because San Juan is seated on the, on the side of the island where there is the nice um, sunset. Okay. And then all these nice hotels are there. The lot, lot is like super expensive there. So they said, um, I, I saw I saw one owner of a new hotel. The hotel just opened January. The name is Lawson's. So by the name, you already know that's owned by a foreigner, right? So yesterday I went there. I was curious to see how it looks like inside and how much is the rate. So I went inside and you know, I'm, I'm pretending that I'm gonna, I'm going to book because it's like that when you're exploring, you pretend. So I went inside and I'm like, hello. Um, it's not like normal hotel where there's re reception or lobby. No, it's like a house actually feels like that. But you know, it's hotel. So I went inside and then I asked, um, how can I get rates? Like, I'm so curious because also I want to see the rooms. And then she said, oh, mom, we're fully booked now. But that is the owner you can ask her, she said. And then when I look at it, she's so pretty. I mean, she's Filipina. I don't know if I if she has my age or she's older or younger than me, but she looks really young. She looks very well maintained, like she takes good care of herself. She's like normal Filipina, petite, small, short. Um, she looks expensive and classy because I'm sure they are rich. But she's so humble. She's very humble. She's she's very kind she's very nice and then she, i i asked her like how much and then she said oh we're fully booked now if you know if we're not fully booked, i'm gonna show you the rooms so that you can see it in person but our rate is is uh four thousand for the standard room i'm like so expensive but she showed me a video of the 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 rooms why they are so big the rooms are so big that's why it's so it's so expensive but anyway i just want to show because she's so pretty really she's so pretty she has a white skin light lighter skin yeah that's why they said um are filipinos like filipinos in general are filipinos um darker in the provinces to be honest i thought before it was the same it was like that but it's not it's not i actually see a lot of lighter skinned filipinos in in cebu even here even in dumaguete so that's not true hey gavin p thank you so much for the super chat merci maraming salamat thank you do you like birds and can you recognize their call i am starting to recognize their call but sometimes when you hear them chirping you don't see like what what bird is that you don't see it so you don't know but sometimes i see like yellow birds blue birds diving here and like staying there in the fence that i i made for the garden i'm so happy i see some birds staying there maybe i'm going to put a bowl with water so they can drink i want to move to bohol I also like Bohol. I also like Bohol because Bohol is bigger and there are more places there where it's not congested for sure. But, um, and there are cheaper. There are cheaper um, properties in Bohol. But it's so big. The island is so big. At least here, you know, if I cannot find the, the thing that I want to find in this town that I just need to go to the other side of the island, it won't take me hours to do that so I, that's why i like it here but yeah you know what i i've seen a lot of properties in bohol that has creek waterfalls inside it they have um spring oh but it's off grid lot <laughs> off grid lot Have you taken care of the molds? There are still white molds sometimes. They still like dots popping up sometimes, but 
they're manageable. I just spray vinegar with dishwashing liquid, they said. It's effective. Have you been Davao City, Cebu? I've been to Cebu. I don't really like Cebu City. I don't like Cebu City because it's it's like Manila. But in in the the outskirts of the city, I mean in the you go out of the city of Cebu, go to Mualboal, go to Kawasan, go to Oslob. It's very nice. It's very nice. Davao, I don't like Davao as well because it's already really congested. But go out of Davao, go to other places like Bukidnon, Butuan. I also want to go to, to Mindanao and explore so that I can, I can tell you guys how it is in Mindanao. So that I can share more like places that you can go to, underrated places, cheap places, or like places to live for expats. I hope you have a nice day over there. Thank you so much, Calif. Thank you so much for the super chat. Merci, maraming salamat. What do you think of La Union? La Union is nice, but it's very hot. Well, it's hot everywhere in the Philippines. But La Union is very nice. Yeah, I think it um, depends where you are going to locate yourself there in La Union. If you stay in, in the big city, it's like San Fernando, of course, it will be more expensive as well. But in general, it's not, it's, it's not as expensive as, you know, as, as Manila. It's not. It's nice there in La Union. I like it there. They speak Ilocano in La Union. I have a lot of classmates from La Union. Do you get water delivered now or are you still collecting it in your container? Yeah, I need to. I go to the town and I, I refill. Yeah, I am the one who's doing it. But you can arrange, um, you can arrange a delivery with the with their water refilling station. You can say that, or you can just hire someone to know that they, they need to uh, collect your your jug regularly, maybe every three days like that and then they're the ones gonna do it for you because i i see that the the foreigner who lives in that big house that's what she that's what he he does do you ever meet up with other vloggers it stressed me out <laughs> i always say this in my live stream i sometimes i like to collab as well but if you notice, I haven't collaborated with any bloggers because it's making me nervous and I don't like the feeling. It's stressing me out. So even if I want to do it, yeah, I don't feel comfortable. It's because, you know, I feel pressured. <laughs> I feel super pressured. I hope you are in a flood free area. I, I think so. Because here it's, I think it's high here. The ele it's elevated. So I think it's, yeah. Why does this offend my Filipina so much? Hmm. I, cause, how do I, how do I explain it? Cause I think s cigarette smoking or whatever smoking in the Philippines is still seen as, um, like, because we know that it's not good for the health. Okay. Here in the Philippines, we think like that. It's not good for the health. So if you do that, it's like, you don't care. If you don't care about your health, then you don't care about the other the other people as well you don't care about about your loved ones as well it's like some it's seen as something low very low <laughs> yeah it's seen as it's seen as something very like degrading i think 
Mm. That's why here, when there are like young people who smokes, who start smoking, what people say is, ah, that that person doesn't have future. Like that. It's seen as like that. Any snakes or spiders at your new place? Kevin Morgan, thank you so much for the $20 super chat. You want to see spider? Maybe I can show you. Hmm, where did I see the spider? Where did I see the, the spider? Um, I see a lot of spider here. Black big spider like this. <laughs> Sometimes dead spider like or the skin. But I, I saw just the other day, I saw one here. I sorry. I saw one here. Maybe it's around here it's hiding because you know spiders likes going in like dark places or behind the the condiments or the the cabinet. Ay! Spider hunting. Well, maybe it's not here anymore. Or the toilet. Always in the toilet. But I'm not scared of it, guys. It's it's not gonna bite me. Sometimes it's even in my bed. Like like here. 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 Or here. On the wall here. I don't know. I think there's one time that it, it crawled while I'm sleeping. I don't know if it's <laughs> if it's a cockroach or or a spider. Here in the toilet, there's I see a lot here. Yeah, I see a lot here, but you know when you don't when you're not trying to find them, they are they're everywhere. But if you want to find them, you don't see them. I think I saw one. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> There's no spider today. But yeah, black spider. They're like small, big, like this. And they crawl very fast. Very fast. Like you cannot catch them. But it's good, they eat the bugs. I don't like the bugs. Are you guys scared of spiders? <laughs> spiders, okay, I'm definitely <laughs> what well, I'm definitely not moving there. <laughs> there are geckos. Yeah. There are geckos here. In the house, maybe there are like four geckos. There's one in the toilet, there's one here, there's one there. I know, yeah, four, I think four. And then I saw baby gecko last night Del Murphy thank you so much for the super chat hello Rubiti I always love your channel and you have always given great open honest informative information about everything you discuss give all great work you're such an amazing voice and value to the community oh thank you so much Del so speaking of that by the way so last night the video that I posted um I so what I do now is I edit the video. I always, I take time editing now and vlogging. I don't want to rush anymore and I don't want to stay two hours more after posting so I can comment. Cause it's like, it's, it's destroying my, my sleep and also it's affecting my eyes when I stay too much on the computer. So I, I schedule videos now that I post and the, uh, so the, the last one last night, it's 3 a.m. I scheduled it 3 a.m. And then when I woke up this morning, I woke up around 6 very early. But I didn't check the computer. I went outside, you know. I They said, talk to your plants, sing to your plants. So that's what I do. So I, I um, watered the other plants. And then I'm like vocalizing in front of the plants. <laughs> like crazy. Um, and then after that, I went back inside. And then I checked the video and I'm, I see all these comments already and a lot of people are uh, it's like are you selective listening like I know a lot of people are doing that like selective listening because 
Okay, I say I said in the first line the, when you click the videos, I said that you know that foreigners can own a property in the Philippines. I'm show you. I'll I'll show you around, and I'm gonna explain you how. And then when I'm when I started explaining, I literally said you cannot legally own a property in the Philippines. And then all these people commenting about what a bad advice, blah 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 blah. I'm not advising. I am giving information of how you can acquire. A land in the Philippines as foreigner it's not like I'm saying get random people put the title in their name and then that's it you pay and then that's it I feel like those people who commented like that are they click on the video first of all it's it's clickbait it's con called content creation but at least my clickbait my title my caption my thumbnail is related to what I am speaking about in the actual video. It's clickbait, first of all, $1 lot. But it is $1 per square meters. It's true. You can find lots like that. Even cheaper, 30 pesos per square meter. They click on it, and then when I said, you, how can, uh, you know that you can own property in the Philippines? Okay, they stop the video, and then they start commenting already. They didn't even watch the, the whole video. Oh, selective listening. I mean, most of my viewers are older, a lot older than me. You should be wiser than me. Okay. Where is my... Ay, what is that? Where is my moderator? Foreigners should be looking to buy I buy land here. That's why we're mad. You know, th they say that also. The thing is, that is why they cannot own a land in the Philippines anyway. The thing is, let's say, oh, a lot of foreigners are buying properties in the Philippines. But those foreigners are married, Us usually are married to Filipinos. That is actually a way for them to to prepare for the for the generation for the come for their generation for their kids right in the philippines and also the thing is we sell it to foreigners or not filipinos can't afford them anyway because i don't know why they're overpricing properties in the philippines so much i don't know if it's an agent thing an agency thing broker or whatever thing but they are overpricing a lot of um, properties, even off-grid properties in the Philippines, the Filipinos can't even afford. I mean, they cannot even afford a 400 square meters, 200 square meters property. And that should be cheap. But no, they cannot even afford that. So even if, let's say, 30 pesos per square meter, but they're selling 15 hectares, Filipinos cannot afford that. <laughs> even, even, some, even foreigners cannot afford it. Even some foreigners can't afford it. It's a global corporate thing. That is one. It's their jobs there. So the f uh, main source of income in Sikihor, in rural places like this, in islands, fishing, farming, um, tourism. So in, in small rural places like this, for example, I am, for example, I, I will work in a small uh, cafe or in a restaurant. It's not even big. The pay is very small, like 6,000 pesos monthly. That is how it is here. But I ask a lot of people here, don't you want to go to Manila and work? It will be the same, they said. It's, hard, it's more difficult in Manila. It's so expensive in Manila. So even if I will earn maybe double of what I'm earning here, but it's more expensive, it's a tie. It's like it's, there's n nothing changed and it's more stressful, which is, it's true. That is really true. Bill Rush, thank you so much for the super chat. Merci, maraming salamat po. Thank you. That's not much. It is not much, but they are. They are surviving. They're, I mean, I also asked this agent. I ask, I ask him. Oh yeah, there is no. What are the the jobs here in in the in Sikihor? And then he said, 
you know, mom, if you are street smart, you can survive here. You don't need to be rich here. If you know how to plant, if you know how to farm, you will survive here. There's no problem. It's not stressful, it's not stressful in our island. It's very peaceful here. It's true. It's actually true. And then um, I asked him also about what if, uh, because I heard that there are like some corporations or like industrial um, industrial businesses that wants to, uh, they want to put up in the island. And then they said, oh no, we are not going to allow it. And also the government in Sikihor is not going to allow it. Because, like, where are they going to put the, indust the, the factories, for, for example? The island is very small. Now, the problem is, they just put one factory here. How about the waste? How are they going to manage the waste? It's not, they said it's not good for the environment, and they said they will not allow it. They don't like to have, they don't like to have, uh, like, indus industrial, like, factories. They don't want that. But if it's like solar farm, I heard that there is a foreigner who invested in solar farm here in Sikihor. See, if it's not foreigner who's going to do it, no one's going to do it. That's why they said, ah, foreigner buying this and that. But also foreigners are the one who's developing. They're the one who's investing. We cannot blame. We cannot blame them. At least they are doing something to improve that is actually helping as well. To also reduce the out power outage here because I heard that in some towns and barangays here in Sikihor are still they still have regular power outage because the supply of the electricity is not enough for the whole for the community. So they are actually they are actually approved for the 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 solar farm. Mm. Need a seaside lot that has protection for a yacht. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people have yachts here. Yeah, guys, you should you should um, keep on keep the the questions coming so that you know we can. As a citizen, can I retire there? What do you mean, as a as a what citizen are you? You can retire here. As long as you can, you can um, complete the requirements for having a retirement visa. Now, SRRV. You have to apply for SRRV. I think for the cheapest is if you serve in a military in the U.S., I think. You only need to show like $1,000 to be approved for the SRRV here. Now, if you are not, if you didn't serve in the military, then... Um, you can get the SRRV Classic, I think, which is, I am, I don't remember anymore exactly, but it's like 50 to, I know it's $25,000. I'm not sure anymore, guys. You can check it on the website. It's in the website. I would leave off farm and fish. Only locals can own land. Even that, I would like to build a house. Yeah, also, you know, if you don't own, if you don't, okay, I'm going to give you this information. Um, Wait. Thank you for keeping us others up to date on your country. It's my pleasure, Aaron. Thank you so much for the super chat. Merci. Maraming salamat. I genuinely want to help you guys, okay? Because I know a lot of people getting scammed or a lot of people don't have any idea. You know the ins and the outs in the in the Philippines. You want to retire in the Philippines. I genuinely want to. I genuinely want to give you information, like valuable information. So there is this one. There is a corporation that I I, I found out in Zambales. Zambales is a very beautiful um, place as well. So there is a corporation in Zambales. They own a big land in Zambales. They subdivided it into one thousand. 1,000 square meters lot and then they lease it out to I mean they 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 rent it out to to expats I uh, as per the one that I read it's like $75,000 to $90,000 depending on the location of the the lot 
if the lot is closer to the beach maybe it's of course that that is more expensive if the lot is closer to the the main road to the exit of the subdivision then that is also more expensive so if your lot is further maybe it's on the the, the last um last row then it's cheaper it's it's always like that right so yeah seventy five thousand dollars to ninety thousand dollars i am not sure if it includes house i think it's just the lot and then you build your own house it's a corporation so they own the 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 corporation own the the property they subdivide it and and then they they rent it out to foreigners to expats for 25 years okay 25 years um i think what's the difference in i, I saw a lot of questions in the the video um that i posted last night the latest one they said what if what if uh what if i die they said if they bought a property and put it in the name of for example they put it in the name of someone that they trust and then they died it, like <laughs> i mean the, the foreigner died for example how, how will that uh, go for me you know what if you are going to do that you should if you purchase a land and then you put it to the name of someone you trust you're not you know it's not your spouse it's not your kid it's not your your child or it's not your your wife i think you do a last will when you when you already bought a property you 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 hire a lawyer talk to your lawyer and you immediately do um last will last will your last will <laughs> your will i think that's the solution so you put in the last will that if i die and i want this property to be sold because anyway the filipino cannot do anything to the property without your permission that is in the memorandum of, of agreement that you did when you when you bought when you purchased the property or a special power of attorney or something so they cannot touch it okay so your last will you want them to sell it you want them to sell it and then you give the money to your family in your home country like something the concept is something like that twenty thousand dollars deposit for srrv and about one thousand dollar pension for over 55 year old any westerner has that unless addict or mentally ill okay okay that you you got your answer all this information is actually on google you can easily find it <clears throat> i'm just asking and anyway yeah i see comments it's just a lot of comments so i'm trying to happy easter i don't really celebrate easter but happy easter to you guys do you think it may be better for a foreigner to rent that way you don't pay property taxes maintenance etc property taxes to be honest i don't still have an idea about property taxes but all i know is that you if your property is categorized as let's say um residential you only pay like a not not higher than 500 pesos yearly now if you have a house this and that that i don't have an idea because i don't have a house yet but i am going to f um i am going to meet my my friend they are going to, to visit me again here they're gonna come back here this week i don't next week it's a lawyer and i i need to discuss about these things to them so so i can i can ask about these things because i also i'm not sure yet about these things i don't have a lot of ideas about these things yet but i'm i'm sure i'm going to ask my lawyer friend ignore the idiotic comments from insecure people in the chat you are doing great job thank you my example merci thank you so much i my example sorry david hughes thank you so much for the super chat david hughes yeah but you know sometimes you cannot just ignore the comments as well <laughs> yeah you cannot you cannot ignore comments <laughs> sometimes when i'm streaming they get into my nerves especially because you know i don't know if it's a if, if it's a woman thing to be moody really 
But when I'm not in the mood, I still need to, I still need to, to work and do things, you know. I cannot let my mood like ruin my day. But, you know, when you're not in the mood and then you're hungry and then all these idiot, idiot commenters coming to your, to your chat and then saying bullshit. Sometimes, no matter how much you try to like calm yourself down or like put a shield in front of you so, so the negativities don't penetrate, it just bounces back to them. I, I cannot, I, <laughs> there are times that it, it still penetrates a little bit negativity and then I burst out. But after ranting to those people, idiotic comments or whatever, after ranting, you know, it feels good. It feels good to rant if you're ranting about something. But if you're just ranting out of nothing, because of nothing, that is not good. That's negativity. But it's good to rant sometimes because it's like, you know, bring out all the negativities. <laughs> I get it, the comments can be hard, we're still human. It is, especially when you're just trying to be genuine, to be kind, and to really, I don't know, to like talk to the people. And then you see comments like this, like, what's your problem? And in the internet, in social media nowadays, it's like that. So it's like, uh, well, you choose. You stop what you're doing, or, you know, you just accept that it's always like that. Because it is. It is in, in social media. That is the reality. If you rent, you'll never profit, never get your money back. Buying a house is an investment. That's exactly what I, that's exactly my mindset about it. Because if you rent, that is true, you can't get your money back. But if you, if you buy a property, like for example, this, there is a corporation, let's say, Rubuti Corporation. <laughs> I'm going to study this, um, this business guy, so I can help you. <laughs> but for now, I still like, it's very like, I feel like this is a very stressful thing to do, to be honest. Um, for example, Rue Beauty Corporation. Oh no, Arland. I actually have my Arland already. I established that. Arland. Oh, for example, I buy a lot of properties. And then I, it, and then you have option to lease or to to buy a parcel. So, you know, there are these expats, for example, who buy property. It will be on my name, but you can do whatever you want with the property. I cannot do anything with the property because we have an agreement, right? The agreement is I cannot do anything with the part, property if I don't have permission from you, right? Okay. And then also, if you have, la I am going to ask you to do your last will, so that if something happened to you, if you if you die or you know because because it's like that. Sometimes life's too short, things happen, and then yeah. So you need to do. I will tell you to do your last will. You you send a copy to your attorney, send a copy to your to your family, and then to me. This is what in your will. This is what you're gonna do. I want you to sell the property. And then give the money to my to my family that is at least that you can take it back higher even it's true that you cannot like give an inheritance to your family because your family is foreigner then it's, it's still not possible for them to own the property here in the philippines so at least if you if you sell them when you're gone if i mean if i sell them when you're gone with the value of the lot now in the current you know the 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 current year the value now then send it to your to your family i think that is that is actually good idea but the thing is like you said in the comments a lot of people said in comments that is a very bad advice to advise foreigners to just to just uh, trust someone blah 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 you know those people they they don't they don't watch the the video they just they just want to to be negative what costs small house in your country it depends on the location if you are going to build your own house in a place like this um it won't cost uh, you so much like um uh, but that, that house, that big house, 
the the owner said like they spent like two million but it's actually a big house it he even has a like a basement i think and then it, it's a big house i saw inside hello reese burton and then if um if you build a house in the city you know bigger city like in the town the cost the construction cost will still be the same it's just the lot is more expensive yeah no two million pesos that is like 40 million dollars but if you don't need a big house the one million is already nice house one million is a very nice house i trust my foster kids here in the philippines and i trust you oh you that's so sweet paul what you're doing in the philippines is really good you're helping the poor people almost midnight here so i'm off to bed have a great thank you smoking kentucky i'm sure it's already almost midnight in your country guys because i know most of my viewers are from the u.s i know there are also from europe but mostly are uh, already night time sleeping time in your country right me i'm in the middle of the day i still need to eat <laughs> what is your opinion many local street foreigners as an atm oh my gosh here we go again <laughs> <laughs> was an ATM. Hmm. How much to subscribe to a beauty property? <laughs> okay. Hello. Yes, this is big. Thank you. Welcome to Rebeauty's gang. Ken M. Thank you so much. UK. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um. What's the question again? Because us from um, the America want to move there. I know. What is your opinion? Many locals treat foreigners as ATM. Yeah, many, many locals. Many people. I, I'm sure it's not only in the Philippines, but I cannot deny. I mean, I have to admit as well that in the Philippines there are also some who treats foreigners like that like because it's like a it's like a normal uh it's like a normal what do you call it like a stigma or it's normal like for a local to think that you have more money than us you know what i mean i know it's not good thinking and it's not good to to take advantage but to answer your question it's it's that is the the most normal thing that a Filipino could think of about uh, a Western uh, person. Because imagine our money, your money for one, for one dollar is 55 pesos. Even if you say you are, you are poor in your country, but if you convert your pension, it's still very good. It's still very um, high for us. Just, just think it that way. That is why, I mean, I don't know really what to say about it, but that is true. A lot of locals think that foreigners has a lot of money and that, you know, that you don't care about the price. Sometimes you think the price is actually cheap, but actually sometimes I, I hear like that here in Sikihor. They give price to the foreigner. Oh yeah, oh, that is so cheap, the foreigner will say. And in my head, oh my gosh, she's getting ripped off. <laughs> That's actually expensive for a local or for a Filipino. And yeah, a lot of like that. So, I mean, what can we do about it? What can you do about it? What can you do is be careful. Okay, be careful. You don't need to explain conversion rates. There's apps for that. Huh? Hello, Glenn. Thank you. And New Zealand, 450, yeah. $40 million, $40,000 is 2 million. Ah, I said 2 million pesos is $40,000, not $40 million. The house is $40,000, yeah. Just wondering why you're not on Twitch. 
tonight yeah because i am doing live stream for because i need to catch up also with especially because i saw a lot of <laughs> a lot of comments on the video that i posted last night so i said it's better if i just go online and instead of replying to to the comments one by one with the same questions i'm just gonna explain it in live so everyone will hear it all at the same time so okay so if i didn't reply on your on your question in the comment I read them that's why I went live okay I think it's better for us to do this will most Filipinos be happy with a simple life in the province to be honest I think I think um, yeah most Filipinos want a simple life there are still some who who likes uh, you know luxury life go to the, go to america or go to europe and live the life there but a lot i know a lot of filipinos wants to stay in the philippines live a simple life the younger generation are the ones who are, who's more ambitious they're the one who likes you know they want to go to america they don't want to if they if they marry a foreigner they prefer to go to the foreigner's country than staying in the philippines it's the younger generation Mm. Oh my gosh, I am smelling the, the dead dog because they didn't even bury it. It's there. And it smells so bad. Do you have Costco, Walmart, or Home Depot anywhere? Home Depot, yeah. Walmart, no. We, uh, there are so small grocery stores in small towns. But if you go to big cities, they have malls. I mean, yeah, um, supermarkets. Um, shopping malls, yeah. Luxury life in the... No, not luxury life in the U.S. But living in the U.S. alone, for us Filipinos, living in Europe is called luxury life. That alone is already called luxury life. I don't mean live a luxury life in the U.S. or in Europe. Hello, Scott! all people that money but turns bigger money there depend on yeah yeah exactly america sucks unless you make 300k plus a year i know the women there that have guy friends but say those guys are gay is it more like they're bi not true gay gay like me i have my friend who's a gay and i i streamed with him in twitch if you look at him, he doesn't look like gay. It looks like my boyfriend. <laughs> but he has a boyfriend. <laughs> Hello, Rob. There is SNR in the Philippines that is like Costco in the US. Yeah, SNR. We have also um, Landers. Yeah, Landers. But not in all places in the Philippines, but in the big cities. In Laguna, Laguna is really nice. It's a suburb, and I think it's good for retirees, but it's also expensive there. It's really getting expensive there already, but they have landers. Um, I make 120k a year, and that won't touch luxury. That's luxury in the Philippines, though. <laughs> Hello, Derek Wright. P. Moniz. I understand what you mean. I just think that funny as a Westerner living in the West. How are you getting internet on the island you're not? You're on. Uh, they have Wi-Fi. But if I use my mobile data, dead. I don't have signal here. <laughs> I live in on 18K a year, but that's because I invest 80k a year to get the Philippines before 40. Oh, like an early retirement. That's nice. Can you hunt for animals there with a gun like in the US? No, no one does that here, even in the mountains. 
which dog died the white one the 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 male dog who used to come here to drink water hello fanatic forager thank you so much for the super chat merci buku maraming salamat thank you hello irving mendoza washington usa by the way i know your mother oh that's good irving mendoza filipino mendoza looking so well hey sean hello heard amazon now to deliver throughout philippines i'm, I'm not sure in small um ta small islands like sikihor or small towns but in when i was in tagig yeah amazon there's amazon delivery but there are um, not all the items there are some items they deliver there are some items they don't deliver yeah did it get hit or old age they poisoned it it was uh, bubbling when they saw it and it's it's, it's not it's not alive anymore why siki Hor seems managed so much better than other islands roads are good and it's very clean trash can or what yeah i don't know i also noticed that i mean the roads here are so much better than manila i think the reason why is because they're just they are developing siki Hor now plus there are not there's not a lot of uh, vehicles in Sikihor, like especially big vehicles. You know the the trucks that they have here, like pickup trucks and van. Oh, the cute size, the small size. They're so small, multicab. Yeah, the small size van, small size pickup trucks. Oh, they're so cute. I also like that. <laughs> Did you get anywhere getting electricity run to your land? Did I get? What do you mean did I get? Two weeks in person. I think America could change any foreign woman, not just a Filipina. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I feel bad for the dog as well. Mostly in Cebu, but I've traveled extensively throughout the Philippines. I always come back there. I have heard the strip malls are popping up there too. Here? There are no malls here. There is no shopping mall in Sikihor. <laughs> yeah. I'm so hungry already. Okay, guys. So I think um, we are going to do another live stream next time. But earlier. <laughs> and uh, Sunday. I think it's better. Most of the the subscribers can can join the, the live stream. So for now, I am going to end the live stream here. And save your questions for next live stream. So that... Um, next live on my next live you can just you know put all the questions okay connect your new house to the electricity grid i'm renting here and there's electricity here that's why i, I don't understand hmm. Thank you, Irving. Take care as well. It was nice. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Grant. Everyone, Rich. Oh, it's so it's so hot. Next live one, I will announce it. I'll just post. So stay tuned, guys. And also click on that subscribe button if you uh, and then click on that notification bell so you will receive the notifications every time I go live. If when I post something. You know you can receive notification 
and also i'm going to post i think a video of all the gifts that i received thank you so much guys for all the gifts okay i really appreciate it thank you so much it's very helpful for my living here in the rural area because you know it's it's uh, like i said convenience is expensive so if you're living in a rural area like this and you want to do something for example you want to garden but you don't have you don't have um tools you don't have anything to use yeah you need to like do things manually really so if you have tools even if it's still not very convenient to live in in the rural area if you have tools it can be so much better so thank you so much for all the gifts and thank you in advance for all the the gifts that are <laughs> still coming I, I still ordered the others and I still didn't order the, the others as well because it's like too much. I need like I need to group small parcels and big parcels all together so that I can save with shipping fee. So if you guys want to check out the, the gifts, you can go to the, to the description box in any of my videos. You can see the buy me gift here. Just click on that link. And also if you just, you know, you just want to because I am surveying right now. Click on that first link on the description box as well in this uh, live or on the previous, uh, the latest video that I posted last night. Click on the first link and uh, just, you know, answer the form. I just want to know what do you guys like. I, I'm just doing a survey. Maybe someday I can help you. So thank you so much guys for attending today's stream. Thank you so much for hanging out for two hours almost two hours i'm so hungry i am you don't hear my tummy <laughs> rumbling so thank you so much everyone i'll see you again next stream and next um next video i've known many filipinas in america most of them end up in divorce <gasps> really russell oh whoa that is bad how the culture really affects Anyway, I'm really so hungry. Kain po. Okay, Fanatic Forager, thank you so much everyone for the support, for watching and for the super chat. Merci buku. Maraming maraming salamat. Arigato. <clears throat> Do you want me to sing a song for you guys before, before I turn off the stream? <laughs> anyway, so many Filipinas streaming now. I've been streaming since uh, November 2022. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's so hard to say goodbye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Frank. Roger. Carter, thank you everyone. I'll see you again next stream. Oh, you just got here. Oh, sige na. Oh, sige na. Oh, bye bye na. <laughs> thank you everyone. I miss you all. How to stop the stream, by the way? <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know how to stop the stream. Thank you, Ed M. Guys, I don't know how to stop this stream. <laughs> yes, this is Vic. Happy Easter, everyone. Have a good weekend. Hi. Oh, okay. Okay, I know how to stop now. <laughs> Needs glasses. No, I can't find it. Okay, bye, guys. Thank you.